So when it comes to AI and data centers, how are you seeing Bitcoin miners kind of transition into AI in, in the report? Yes, sure. So happy to elaborate a bit on this, having a, having kind of power contracts, having the already existing, possibly fitting infrastructure, having the talent to diversify that business. And this was one of those things and sentiment questions that we also saw where business diversification was one of the kind of key areas that miners were looking at. And, and also, if you look into the really statements of public companies, I think miners moving to AI is, is something that is definitely a very, very interesting component. I think it is given specifically when we think of the way how most likely the block reward will move, having a lot more volatility possibly when it comes to revenues derived from mining activity, having this more, I would say, less volatile income stream, you know, providing AI, HPC services is, is quite interesting for mining companies. But on the other hand, what we see is, and I think what we found that the amount of CapEx required to build this infrastructure is on a, on a whole different level. So it is kind of, for, I think, in, in terms of the, the capital requirements to enter this space, it's, uh, yeah, it's quite a feat for mining companies, right? So basically, one of the key differences between building Bitcoin mining infrastructure with actually building AI infrastructure is the CapEx requirement, where we show that essentially if you include GPUs as well, it's about 33 times. But even if you just build the infrastructure, it's already, I think, about, about eight times. So while this might be very interesting field specifically with this uh, very much increasing demand. We also have a couple of charts there that show where this demand is coming from by much more computationally intensive trading models, but naturally, I think mostly from inference. So it's a, I think there's a little, lot of nuggets of, I want to call it nuggets of wisdom, but there's a lot of in interesting information, I think, in the last chapter of the report specifically about where we are most likely heading in terms of mining. Uh, and I think that a lot of mining firms are very well positioned to kind of capture this opportunity, becoming like a more diversified 